Hi crafty friends, welcome back to the old paper lady. I'm Lori. Thanks for joining the video today. So what we're going to do is we're going to start working on some bits and bobs for our bee journal. I did go through, uh, I have like seven or eight uh, 12 by 12 paper storage boxes. Uh, you just get them at Michael's Hobby Lobby. They're like three, four dollars, you know, like about an inch or two thick by 12 by 12. So I have paper pads stored in those and um, I went through and so what I did was I found my last Tim Holtz idea, ideology. It breaks my heart, but I broke into it because, you know, he didn't make them anymore. And that, it was a sad day for me when they came out with that news. But I did go through and uh, I found some uh, B bits in this here. So I'm going to take probably make a pocket or a tag or such out of this and then it's on the back you know and then we'll just put us a piece of paper on the back for tags and that so I'm just going to use the B parts out of it and we'll save this bit for something else probably put it in a garden journal because it looks like a pepper plant right here so I'll do that with that but that's where I found that from and then uh, whoops I grabbed the paper sitting so in this one I'm just going to set this in a four all right, so this one came from Hobby Lobby. It's the ephemera, the paper studio. It's pretty good. It has a lot of uh, a lot of scrap uh, scrapbooking papers that would be really great for uh, journals. I love this. You can use this for all kinds of journal bits and bobs. I make mean, collage pages for days in here. And I thought about taking these uh, stamps and cutting. A page of it down because you get three pages of each just cutting the stamps out you know of one page so I pulled this page out and then it had uh, there's and I've got some uh, strawberry pages newspaper pages you know just good little bits but this is the B page I pulled it out that um, we're gonna do I'm gonna make a front pocket for a femur holder and a pocket in the back because this is really thick paper for it to be Hobby Lobby. It's really thick paper, it's really good. But for this journal, so here's the page I pulled out for the B. But this one is uh, like the leisure paper and the journal bits has leisure in the background of the B. So I thought we could, you know, take and use this part here for tags or whatever. and. We could cut it up and use it for tags or whatever we needed to. Extra bits, just in case we needed it. I don't think I'm going to, but just in case. All right, and then this one I got from uh, Joanne's Gardenia. And I got it just, you know, like, like I said, Gardenia. It had pretty little garden pages and stuff like that. And all kinds of different flowers and butterflies. And I, I'm working on a butterfly and a ladybug collection. And I got a journal collection going, and it has some pretty little birds. But I found this paper, this bee paper, in the end. So I just wanted to tell you where I got those bits from. And this is probably going to be tags and pockets such as well. But I just wanted to show you where I pulled those bits and bobs from here at the beginning. Now, I had thought about taking, cutting these down and using them as pages in in my journal but I was like I, you know I didn't really want to pull out the laptop and go through and print on the back of them just you know for two or three pages so I went ahead and used those pages that I had showed in the earlier video of like the bee the bee background that I'd already printed so I'm going to use that but these are going to be decorative bit pages I know for sure I'm going to use these with the bees on them this one with the leisure I may uh, hang on to it and use it at a later date, but I pulled it out just for the fact that this journal has ledger paper behind it, and I thought it would be pretty. But I am for sure going to use Mr. Tim Holtz's paper with the bees on it. We'll use uh, probably some journal cards, and I was like, that would just be pretty, um, maybe take and cut a four and a half by six piece of this where it has the bees and that bee. Uh, pockets for the front and back to put the ephemera holder in. I think that would be really good. Then I wouldn't feel like I wasted pulling that page out. You know what I'm saying? And because these these ephemera holders are going to be you know quite chunky, 
So, but like I said, that was the idea on that. Alrighty, so I have been doing quite a little bit of work off camera. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, last night I couldn't sleep well. My hands were hurting. If you'll notice, I'm rubbing my thumb a little bit, but my hands were hurting, so I sat down. I did all my ephemera cutting. Got some tags and such already did up. So I did these little tags with just put the little jute twine on them. Then I did this one, inked around it. And these bits were the bits that came from that little pack I showed you guys from Toomey, but it had the white edge around it, and they were stickers. So I just cut the white edge off of them. And this poor little bead that's on the pocket, he's a little amputee, if you can't tell. I cut his little front leg off. I didn't mean to. But I was watching a documentary on YouTube and went to cutting and went around and snipped him. So he he landed on the wrong flower and got in a fight with some, with some other bee. That's what happened. We'll just say that. And then this one. Here's a journal or a tag. And then here's journal cards that I made already off camera. So that, that came from that little uh, sticker set that I showed you guys in the video yesterday that I got from Tamu. Alright, and then these pieces are just vellum tags that I got from Michaels. It was on a, like a 50 cent sale. I had like 20 or 30 in a pack. So I thought these would be good and I just took and uh, edged them and took them, laid them on a paper towel and and knocked the, knocked the bright white off of them is all I did. Let me see. I'm trying to find something where you can see it. See that? Yeah. So that's what I did. And then these pieces were a little part of that same little kit from Tamu with the stickers and it had the white around it and I trimmed them up. And I thought I had some eyelets to go on them, but my eyelets are uh, too small. So then I said, well, that's all right. I'll just take and you know, fix me up. Remember the little bead dangles that I showed you? The bronze bead dangles. So I got them on a bulb pin. And I'm going to take those little bits and put them like this and attach them to the tag and let that dangle. I think that'd be cute. So I'm gonna work on that this video, and uh, but I want to put them on the background. I don't have decided what background I wanted yet. The one that I was thinking about using was this here, but I cut this page down, and I'm gonna uh, do a whole page decorating on the back because it's white on the journal, and I'll show you that later. But I was thinking about doing something like that just gluing that on it and then having this dangle bit here just you know just gluing that piece down that's what i'm thinking about doing i hadn't decided yet because i wanted it full coverage just because these are flimsy you know but yeah i'll figure that out here in a minute so anyways how are you all doing hope you are doing well this is Saturday when I'm filming this, and you'll all see this tomorrow, which will be Sunday. So, I said, well, let's just go in here and quit working while you working on everything off camera, and ain't nobody going to see it. So, what's the point in doing that, right? All right, so these are some more of those little tags that I did. And I'm just going to glue these bits down, and I'll dust it up with, you know, some, uh, uh, what the heck, vintage photo. So then I thought these would be pretty to take and put down on this bee form. Just cover the whole back up to make it sturdied up. And you can see the bee, the beehive in the back of it. I thought that would be cute. So that's what I'm going to get to in this video. And then my big journal pockets. These journal tags where it's a little dark on the back. I was like, well, I need to do something to dress them uh, pockets up. So we're going to put them on that. And that's what we'll do right there. So I think that'd be pretty. These bits here, these little uh, postcards, I'm gonna do, uh, I got some little bee stamps. I just wanna stamp something on them, just a, you know, a little something else. And this is a journal card. I thought about putting these black and white bee here and dusting the white down on them. So we'll get to doing that. And then of course I got my envelope pulled out. But what I wanted to show you guys really is this ephemera pack 
where I was talking about taking that uh, that folder that the packaging that the little bee the little bee papers came in from uh, Tamu. It had a little thin journal bits like this in it with the light on it. So I'm gonna back those and use those as journal cards. But I made this. So this is a piece of uh, twine. I do not know where I got it from. It might have been one of those, uh, you know, remember like uh, Michael's and uh, Hobby Lobby has the spring color or whatever. I think this came out of one of those packs with, where it has several different colors of the season. And this was a neutral. So what I did was uh, where it had like the hole right here, the natural uh what is it envelope closure look so i took and poked a brad through the middle of this of the string and then i'm going to cover that up with washi tape and i've already inked this up and i'm going to put a pocket here and i think when i cut this paper here down i think i'm going to put that in it. i think that'll go pretty good with that and that'll be one of my ephemera pack holders so i'll put that pocket here and here right on the side and we'll just run a strip of uh i went through and pulled out my washies i've got this uh where it's got the beehive on it the honeycomb then i got these where it's got the little bee on it so i thought about just run you know running that down there fixing that up to cover up this and then that'll be your ephemera holder you just wrap it around like so tiny it bow and I still got to put something over that, some kind of sticker or ephemera piece to cover that right up. And then I'm going to put, you know, just a, a coffee dyed, ink dyed something on the back to cover this bits up. I think that's going to be pretty. So that's what I'm going to do with that. And then this bit, these are some of the, um, came from my, my porch prints pockets. That I had that I showed in yesterday's video and if you see where it's got the honeycomb in it because I was like well that little beads on there he needs something else you know so I was like well let's just take some bling bling and make it look like it's the honey that he's getting so I'm gonna put some honey bits here in a corner or a few up you know I thought that would be cute so that's what I was working on waiting for my phone to charge up so that's what I'm gonna continue to do today we're gonna I don't want to do like a whole big start to finish where everything that I work on for this journal is on camera, but it may be a couple videos worth of me, uh, you know, showing you what I'm doing and what my idea is. We're going to get us some uh, journal bits and bobs made up and uh, we're going to get this journal put together real quick. Like, because like I said, I've had this going and I had this idea for, you know, a, a, at least a good year and a half for sure. And I'm doing this with tweezers because, you know, I kind of can't hold it real good with my hands. So I just wanted to put some more bits where it looked like it was honey. <clears throat> and I got these, uh, what are they called? Jewel borders. I got them from uh, the Crafter Square, which therefore will be Dollar Tree. And this is uh, the darker color of, of gold. So they have some that are like yellow, but this is like a, a more honeyer looking color, if that's a word. It's more honey looking. So I was just gonna take and add some more bits <clears throat> down here in the corner, excuse me. It rained, but I'll tell you what, it still didn't get rid of, rid of that pollen good enough, but I guess that's just, we just gonna have to deal with it. So I was thinking about, you know, just running a, a few down in the corner here, you know. Whoops, I lost that one. Come here, buddy. That's what I'm going to do right here. I just thought that was so cute. I was like, look at that. Shut up. Ain't that going to be pretty? We're getting us some bling bling up in our bee journal. So I've got laces and uh, all kinds of decorative bits to go 
you know, whatever I come across, I'm like, oh, that needs something else. Let's put this on it. So I, I got all my lace stuff out to match, you know, whatever I thought I might need to work on it. So it'd be here handy. I didn't want to take up, you know, a whole, uh, whole week's worth of, you know, step-by-step -step decorate with me or, uh, do a femur like we did with the last one. I was just wanting to, well, if I can hang on to that sucker, it's a little slicky, ain't it? So I started to do like, you know, start to finish. And I was like, now nah, let's just show them what we got, where we got it from. And then we just do a few bits here and there. You know, because how boring is that going to be for me? You know, I've got all this whole stack of cut aparts here just to sit down. And it took me a good bit last night to cut the, cut them out about an hour or so while I was just sitting here listening to TV and cut all these out, you know. And I inked them up and all that. So, I mean, you know, that, how boring was that going to be to sit and watch somebody cut that stuff out and ink that up on, on the video? And I'm like, lady... Supposed to be showing me how to work on stuff, not how to cut paper. But I just went on ahead and did that off camera. And then I was sitting here and I just started putting stuff down. Really, that's how you know these these bits came apart. I was like, oh, that'd be pretty doing that, you know. So that that's how that happened. I should have did that and on video and showed that you could cut that white around those stickers and all that. But that's all right. I showed you what I did after I done it. Sorry, y'all. But like I said, I am excited about working on this. So, it's all sitting here on my craft table. I've got like a little L-shaped table in my room. One part of it is actually uh, feasible to work on. About a three-foot section of a four-foot table. And then I've got about a foot and a half to two foot of the other section of the four-foot table that I can actually work and craft on where I don't have a uh, storage taking up my desktop, <laughs> to be honest with you, it's what it is. But I've been wanting some, uh, some of those Irish units where you could store uh, eight and a half by 11 papers. So I got two sets of those that are nine drawers tall sitting on one part of my desk. <clears throat> and that's the ones where I, I bought, you know, all the papers from Michaels. That might not stay on there. I might, I might put a little bit of glue on you, buddy. Let's get the glue out because the sticky come off of that one. That's all right. We'll just put a little bit of glue on it. No problem. And put, put a little bit of their white wet glue and it'll hold it. Whoops. Now, if I don't glue it to something else or my desk or myself, you know, that is the problem. Oh, I think that's going to be cute. Let me get that up real quick. Before I glue something down that I wasn't supposed to. Something else, you know. Want my tweezers. Oh, I think that's going to be so pretty. What do you guys think? I love that. I think that's enough. I think so. I was wanting to put a couple bits up here. But I don't want to hinder it up too much. But now where these here are... You know, you're supposed to fold down, down this line here and here and glue it to your page. So, I'll score all that and do that off video. But now, the decorate part of uh, of making this journal, you, you better believe, yes, ma'am, honey, it is going to be on video. Because we're going to decorate till we can't decorate no more in this thing, I tell you that. I might, you know, all the ephemera making bits and bobs might not do all that but yes every stitch of everything that we put in this journal is going to be on the video i can guarantee you that because i want to go back and uh be like oh yeah i remember doing that i might do it in another journal so that piece there's done and i wanted to do it to another one and i thought about you know maybe in the corners of this put a little bits let's do it don't even quit thinking about it do it honey do it up Now, this bit here is making me upset. I'm going to put the glue on this instead of trying to put it on this thing. Because as soon as I grab it with them tweezers, it's going to flip. And I already see that. See? That's all right because it'll dry white. It'll dry clear. I don't 
don't know why the sticky bits is not hanging on to the to the bling on this rock on this line but you know it is dollar tree but that's okay i bought it just because it had this had the color of it not the sticky part i got glue that can put stuff down you know and it'll have it'll step over and you know let it dry a little bit but other because it is wet glue and it's gonna move around but yeah so i was like that'd be cute looking like honey done dripped out of the honey jar i don't like that well you can see me i don't think i'm on camera over here having a fit fumbling with, the, <laughs> with these bits but it is funny i keep dropping them in my lap so i was like let's just put those little bits down because i see these all the time with all different colors of you know of the the jewel bedazzled bits and i'm like oh that's the color I'm working with. Oh, that's the color I want. So I said, well, let me see. And these are perfect shaped, actually, for a honeycomb. And I was wanting to do it on the, on these uh, bigger bits. But I was, like, on this journal card, I was like, well, I could bling that up some. And I was like, but you couldn't write on the back of it. But I still might boot a little bit of bling on it. You never know. But I was like, that'd be perfect to put on a pocket because you're not going to flip it over and write on it. And this might be due to uh, pick up better and hold better for, uh, what is that, the 3D paint where you have the little bejeweled piece, uh, pieces and it's got that sticky stuff on the end of it. Probably work with that too, with these little bejeweled bits. I think that would probably work better actually. I just want to put a little, little bit down here in the, in the bottom corner. You can't tell I am excited because, you know, my words are blue, 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 blue. I think we'll do that like that. Maybe put a cup, couple up here. What do you think? Is that going to be a little bit much? Well, it can't be too much. You know what? Because we, we bedazzling and bejeweling this and up. that it I don't think so though let's see what I was trying to do is make it look like it's uh, piled up around this honey jar here I may move this one I think I am because I don't like it I don't like it over there I don't like you there oh you want to be hateful don't you you know we got a little Spatula, we're gonna get you up. Look at yonder. You ain't even gonna do me like that. There we go. Yes, there we go. I'm gonna put you where I want you. Oh, yeah. I don't like that. I feel like I need one here, but that's gonna stick off. Let me see. Let me see what I can do over here in this corner. It feels a little too straight edge to me. I got it. There we go. Yep. There it is. Yeah. There we go. I, can't, I don't think I can fit another one right there. Let me try it. I'm going to try it and see. And if it hangs over on the bend part a little bit, you know what? I'll just score it a little bit past that area. Ink it up, you couldn't tell it. Oh, yes. I like that. Should I put one here? Mm, I don't know. I don't think so. I don't know. Let me look. I'm sorry I'm getting quiet, but I'm kind of trying to uh, concentrate. 
<laughs> work with these blingies. Yeah, I don't like that. I like that a bit. Yeah, I think that's going to look good. Then we'll just score a little bit past this section right here. It'll be fine. Yes, love it. Love the blingy pockets. Shut up. Look at that. Shut up. Love that. Okay. Alrighty, quit admiring your work and do something else, woman. Alright, so like I said, you know, I may not do all of the decorated doing the bits and bobs of fixing and gluing and, you know, all of this and that on video, but I wanted to come on and show you that little bit. And like I said, you know, you can take and you can bling bling up anything you want, really. I mean, that would be really pretty to take uh, on like a, a flower, get some smaller bits and do the center of the flowers. Because I've got some smaller bits that would be pretty to do that with. And then on some of these bigger sections on the journal pages, actually. I was thinking about, I've got some more. So see like where the bee here doing some on that yellow. Oh, yes. I think that would be really pretty. Let me see what I got over here in my little bag of tricks. All right, so these, these blings came from uh, self stick gem sheets came from dollar general and they're square but yeah you could take and run that around but this is on a string and this came from dollar tree it's adhesive pearl wrap so you can cut this apart i don't know that glare is probably glaring up in your face but i was like yeah you could take and probably run that through there you figure out something and then i got some smaller smaller ones that I think if we did like a circle around like that I think that would be pretty just you know a little something I may not do that maybe just a bit too much but I was thinking you know something like that would be pretty so then these pages where I showed you that's what I'm gonna do is put that in there and it's got the writing on the back and then these little beads with the musics so this is the actual, and there's the black uh, B paper. So on the back of this, I'm gonna make whole pockets out of this page to put on there to cover that white up. And one whole pocket out of this page for the back side to cover that white up. I think that'll be great and pretty. But yeah, so see like anywhere, you know, you stick tight and stick some more blingies here and there. We got some yellow lace. I got uh, this real pretty uh, gold looking yellow lace. Oh, it's really bright. I think that'd be pretty. I think I'm gonna alternate that back and forth with the black uh, lace. It's got the gold trim in it. I think that's gonna be pretty. But, uh, and that's gonna be center. So yeah, I think that's what we gonna do. And then on my wood piece, these would probably be pretty on that they probably would i'll work on that off camera because if i don't like it it ain't gonna go, it ain't gonna go but that's what i wanted to show you guys just come on catch up till you know where I, where i was at and what i had been working on try to get some of this bits done let's see i think i may just go ahead and fix all of these here on this and then I'm gonna go ahead and do that on this bead. Where is the, I'm gonna do it with fabric tack cause that, if I do it with glue stick or this wet glue that is gonna curl like nobody's business, like you put it through a curling iron. So we're gonna do it with this. And it, hopefully it won't show through. Whew. Cause you know it is, it is vellum and vellum is kind of finicky. So, I'm going to try it and see. And then, you know, and then if you don't see it in, in the journal, you know it didn't work. <laughs> That's how we're going to go. If it ain't in the journal, you know the the uh, fabric tack with the vellum did not work because it showed through. But I think it should work. I hope. Now, it's wet right now and you know it's going to show through. But I hope. I hope that it don't. 
So now I have put them down with the glue stick and it didn't, it didn't show. It just curled the paper up a lot, you know, so you had to. So the reason why I'm saying, ooh, it got wet there, didn't it? That's all right. What is that? I must have glue on there. That's the only thing I don't like about this, working straight on this mat, is this black on here. If it has, like, see, that's got dried glue on it, and it come off on my paper. That's why I don't like working straight on this, because of that situation. But let me rectify that. Give me my, my pink glue mat. I'll wipe this thing down in a minute. Try to spread that out a little bit. I don't, think that's, I don't know if that's gonna work or not. But then my thinking was, you know, we cut that out, and hopefully that uh that'll dry clear on there, and it, you won't see it. But right now you can see it. But I am gonna do with the other one with glue stick. But I know it's gonna curl it, but that'll be okay. We'll just put it underneath something until it dries and then it'll straighten it out. But I wanted to try that uh, Fabri-Tac on that vellum and see how that worked out. I know some people say, uh, what is it, Barely Arts Glue uh, works with vellum and it doesn't, doesn't show through. So I don't know. I haven't, I've not tried that glue. <coughs> but I know this glue stick will not show through, but it will curl it very badly. Let's see. I'm just going to put it on the paper because I think that's going to take my uh, my ink off of my vellum there. See, so the only thing really bad about that uh, glue and vellum with the glue stick is it'll hold. I mean, you know, and it won't, you won't see through, but it curls up real bad. That's the only thing with that is it just curls bad. <clears throat> Excuse me for my coughing and clear my throat, y'all. Right, so I'm going to go ahead and cut these out. And I'm gonna fix and show you what I was uh, had in mind with this little dangle bit with the with the bulb pin and the bee uh, dangles that we got off of Tamu. And it was just a bronze uh, bronze bee dangles or charms, bronze bee charms. Basically, all I did was punch in uh, bee charms. That's what I was looking up, and it brought up a few things like that. But now the ones that I showed that had uh, that are gold with the yellow and black and the um, little gold gold on it. I think I will use those as actual journal dangles, and where I tie the tie uh, sew the signature in. You have your little your little trim hanging down. So I think I'm going to just use those for that. I think that would be pretty. And then the, I'm not going to put a bunch of uh, charms throughout the journal. Just you know, bits here and there. But I thought it would be pretty on these tags. So then my thinking was, you know, it had the little dangle bits on it. And it's a cute little tag. And you could write on the front or the back. And it still was decorative. This is the one that was down with the glue stick. And here I was. And see how I have to hold the paper. I can't hold it normal. I gotta hold it in between my first finger and my straight finger because my thumb catches with me. And that's why I don't like trying to do, you know, something that I know I'm gonna have to cut out after I back it. I try my best to do off camera 
but I wanted to show y'all the finished idea of these little tags. Let me get the hole punch here. I'm going to hole punch it. And yeah, I've got one of these, what you call it, things here. I got one of them crocodile bits, but you know, it's, it's a good old hole punch. I just, you know, I can see it better too. Just a good old hole punch. Yeah, now see, look, that's going to be okay. I do believe it is, you know, kind of curving, but it's glued down. That was the one with, with, the, with the glue stick. And this is the one with the, uh, with that fiber, uh, fiber tack. That's fiber tack stiff. I don't know why my voice changed like that. <laughs> I think it's cause my voice is like, lady, just shut up and craft. All right. So then you open these bull pins up and you need to figure out which way you want your items to hang. So I'm going to hook it through and I want my bull pin to hang from the top like so. So then I took and I was like, well, for, in order for it to hang, whoops, where the bead's going to be first and then the little tag hangs on it, then you just do it like so. I think that's gonna be cute, cute, cute. And I may not need to fiddle with bull pins on camera either. I'm having the difficulties, but look at that. I think that's gonna be fun, cute. And I'm gonna hang it. See the little jingle jangles? Love that. I love that. And so then, you know, well, well, I got to ink around this because I, you know, I just had cut it out. I'm gonna ink around that and, uh, like I said, it's a sticker, but I'm going to keep that paper on there and just do some, uh, knock it down with a little bit of ink for that vintage photo. And you can write on this and you can write on that. Shut up. How cute is that? Love it. And you know what? I don't really think that's going to be too, too bad. We'll just say it's B-Tracks. <laughs> We just say it's B-Tracks. And I may take put a little bit of bling on the, you know, where that is. Ooh, wait, did you hear them sirens? Good Lord, I hope everybody's all right. Oh, that, that worries me. Those sirens is a speeding on. Hope everybody's okay. Lord bless them. My youngest young, and she, she didn't, hadn't really rode with me when you much on the highway, and then we was, going uh to winston and back which is like i don't know a good 30 40 minutes depending on what part of winston from our house and there was a wreck and i just i said lord bless them you know and she's like what do you say that for us? i said you know just pray for whoever it is where you know them or not you know especially on the highway it's a wreck you know could be me could be you you know nobody knows you just want to pray for them you know just kind of the right thing to do, you know. And she goes, "Oh, well, okay." She's like, "I thought maybe you you knew them." I was like, "Well, it don't matter if I knew them or not, honey. You know, you just pray for them." She goes, "Okay." You always try to do that, especially you know, see an ambulance or something or whatever. But anyways, so yeah, there's my little tag bits. I think them are precious. You can write on the back and see how that honey is. That's why I was like. That's going to be cute as a button. Well, cute as a tag. <laughs> Alrighty. Thank you all, crafty friends, for joining me. And I hope uh, I hope you like what I'm working on here. And I showed you some uh, a few little tidbits of what you could, could do with some stuff. Even if it did come from the Dollar Tree, you can work it out and bling that up. So, and then like I said, you know, we're going to take this a package. And we're going to use that for an ephemera holder. We'll get that worked out. And then this is just, you know, cut cut apart from scrapbook page and some stickers. Inked up and blinged up. I love that. I think that's going to be pretty. So there's our ephemera bits so far. We're going to work on some more tags and pockets. And I got to make me an ephemera cover here. So I need to get that done. 
and I think we'll be about ready to put this thing together. Sure do. I'm assessing the situation while I'm looking. You know, you're like, okay, you said you was gonna say bye. Just shut up and say bye. <laughs> but thank you all so much for uh, choosing to watch my channel. Thank you all so much for your kind comments. And I've tried my best to get back to everyone, and there is a few where I was on my personal account on YouTube that I had answered you back in my email, and. Um, so it please excuse that, but you know, you can reach me there too. If you know a few of those ladies that I did answer back from my personal email, they comment, you know, pretty much every video. So I hope we're friends. You know, I, I, I consider you to be my friend. So that way, you know, I was like, well, I'll, I answered that back through my personal email because it's attached to the email that goes to my, anyways, my social. YouTube, <laughs> so I'm all new to that, you know, but anyways, the, yes, and when I did answer you back with the, the Lori Crab, that is, that is me, um, it is not my, uh, legal name at the moment, but that, that was me, my maiden name, so, I, I hope everyone enjoys, uh, my videos, and I so do enjoy your comments, and, hearing you say, you know, like you, you like something that I did. So that makes me feel like, you know, this is worth, you know, people are going to watch it. Maybe I did help them with some tricks and such. And like uh, the little cutter uh, trip about your, uh, your blade, not cutting it, uh, cardboard with a, the same blade you use for your paper. You know, you know, I learned that the hard way, honey. Good Lord. I went, I bought a new blade and I got that, uh, Got that chipboard from online. I said, I'm going to make me a book. I'm going to make me a book. And I first stripe and went to cut paper. And the whole edge of it was just jig jagged like I had tore it. I was like, oh, no. I got to go buy me another cutter. <laughs> so, yeah, that's what happened. But, yeah, anytime anything like that that I can come across. And, you know, and I may bibble babble a little bit too much. But I'll try my best to give you help. Help. Uh hints and tricks and things are a little bit easier you know so anyways thanks you thank you all so much uh enjoy your friends enjoy your family enjoy your crafting y'all have a good evening and come back and yet yet with me and let's make some more stuff bye y'all